it's time to get tough. We've got a range of outdoor hardy succulents that won't need any water throughout the summer and they'll live year after year. What could be easier? This is perfect for any lazy it gardeners out like there. It sounds like it, yeah. Or, well, gardeners like me, really. Well, and me a bit as <laughs> yeah. well, you know, well, when you don't have much time. Busy lives, you need succulents, easy to care for. You've seen them really popular as indoor house plants, but yeah. did you know there's ones you can grow in your garden or in your patio pots? Exciting. So, we're going to plant some up, aren't we? We are. Yes. Uh, compost first. What yes. kind of compost do we need for these kind of plants? Well, because these are succulents, they really grow in very dry conditions. So they've got these fleshy leaves, so they actually store a lot of their own water. So drainage, really sharp drainage and dry soil is the key to success. So your compost will need to have some extra sharp sand or grit mixed into that when you plant up. Again, the drainage will be key at the bottom, so make sure there's holes in the base of your container and also make sure you're using a gritty potting mix. So we're probably mixing some of this grit there and as well. And this is actually we? quite a sandy compost yeah. as well, so this should all be good. Okay. And then a little bit of grit. Look so just that. mix that in liberally, which is then going to help the drainage and make sure there is zero chance of waterlogging. So these are Sempervivums, so these are house leeks. They're really, really well known. Perhaps your grandma used to grow them. They used to be traditionally grown on roofs in order to protect the house from lightning storms. It was kind of a bit of an old oh, wives' wow. town. I'm not sure if it did it for real, but they were always grown on roofs because they don't actually need much root space. They're really easy to grow as well. They'll grow in almost very inhospitable conditions. So that is the type of plant we want to grow on our patios yeah, during the summer, isn't completely. it? completely. That's really cool, I never knew that. Yeah, so they're rosettes, so they're going to expand a little bit over time. We'll go with these lovely green ones. Yeah. Look at those. Look at that gorgeous lime green. And how amazing does it look, the colour with That's the really nice contrast. red colours? Yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous. But these are really brand new breeding of Sempervivums as well, coming from Europe. They're called the Star Series. And they're actually nicer, brighter, different colours to the more traditional ones as well. That's cool. Do you know these are edible as well, Ellen? No. Yeah, so the, the foliage, so the little spiky kind of leaves that you see on these parts are edible and they're kind of like a little bit astringent. They hadn't really got much flavour, but they are edible and they also have a few medicinal properties. Do they? From time to time. This you is can, news to you me. You can use them in a similar way to aloe vera you know, kind of the little flesh to kind of soothe cuts and really? wounds as well. So, yeah, but imagine that, you could use that Should I try in a buffet I... just to dip into hummus, couldn't you? Mm. <laughs> Accidentally, I've gone all symmetrical again. Yeah? And like I've not, I didn't really plan that. Uh -huh. I wanted it to be a circle, but it's not quite worked out that way. But that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> you could also that's like um, put a few bigger rocks in there. You could always put some figurines, make it a fairy garden. Or not? No? Well, not for me. Not but your you, style. if that's your thing, then absolutely. Uh, I think I would like to top this off with some grit as well, because I think that mm. looks really, really nice. So rather, like than around... filling, rather than filling it around the plants with soil, you can fill it with grit, which is going to help the drainage. But also, it's going to be more decorative, because then your yeah. plants will be surrounded by grit, which is how they grow in the wild. But also, it's going to look really cool in your outdoor space. Yeah, completely. Yeah. Okay, we're nearly there. I'm just going to put a couple in these cool. corners and then... Can you fit one more? <laughs> I can fit one more in, look. There you go. So you're going to fill in now with I'm that fresh grit, I'm going to put this lovely grit in round the edges. Just like, you know, cover, and then cover up the soil a little bit. I think it gives it a little mm -hmm. bit of an extra dynamic as well. You could pick any kind of colour, couldn't you? Oh, you could have some of those like gemstone grit from the 90s, couldn't you? You could, yeah. actually. Do you know what? I think that would be ultra yeah. trendy now to do really that. Cool. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Should we give nice. it a water? Yeah, sure. It's okay to get all the water all over them? Yeah, because way? obviously, like in the wild, they get the rain on them from time to time. As long as the water doesn't sit in the centre, yeah. that's great. But nature is clever, so it doesn't let that happen. But if you need to just knock the gravel off a little bit, just do it very carefully. But plants are remarkably resilient because in the wild, from time to time, they might end up being below, you know, a few pieces of gravel, etc. And what kind of temperature are these hardy to then? Oh, these are hardy down to minus 20, even really? more than that. Really? Yeah. That's fabulous. Because when you look at these, you wouldn't think so. And often, these are sold with the house plants in, I a, know, in a garden centre. I know, it's very centre. misleading. So that is really misleading. You know, you don't... 
you know, somebody who, pa you know, a beginner gardener would assume that these can only be grown indoors, mm. but that's not the case. That's why you always need to check a few different sources, make sure you're buying from really good sources for these plants too. And obviously look online, get some good information, follow people like us as well, who can hopefully advise you the best way to grow those that's plants. That's super pretty. There you I go. like this a lot. Hey, hey. Funky, trendy, very cool. And that's probably the only time this summer I'll need to water it as well because that is a okay. drought tolerant, hardy, succulent container which is basically going to look after itself as well. Good work. You just wait till Again. it flowers. Boom. It's going to give you a big surprise. Oh. <laughs>